Talk about a bundle of joy. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 teen pregnancy movies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at films that deal with teen pregnancy, whether they were theatrically released, made for TV, or direct to DVD. Number 10. The Pregnancy Project Featuring former Spy Kids star Alexa Penavega in the lead role, The Pregnancy Project is a made-for-TV movie that chronicles a year in the life of a teenager pretending to be pregnant. Would everyone pile on you and tell you how dumb you are for having a kid? No. You're like, honors everything. It's like, if you were to get pregnant, maybe people wouldn't be so judgmental about it, you know? Based on a novel of the same name, which was in turn the product of a real-life experiment conducted by American high schooler Gabby Rodriguez, The Pregnancy Project delves into the stereotypes associated with teen pregnancy. I think it's cool you're still gonna graduate. Why wouldn't I graduate? I don't know, I just thought you might not care anymore. Or something. Rodriguez's goal was to help teenagers realize that, quote, the decisions they make now will ultimately affect their lives. The Pregnancy Project's unconventional story offers viewers a unique perspective on a tired genre and features enough competent acting to keep the action on screen believable. There must be something you're trying to prove by doing this. Well, yeah. I want to prove that even if I did get pregnant, I'd still be able to go after my dreams. The pregnant girls don't have to become statistics. Number 9. For Keeps in For Keeps, Molly Ringwald plays Darcy, a high schooler who becomes pregnant while on the cusp of graduating. Can't believe this. I've been taking the pill forever. I am trying to get to the museum. What am I gonna do? The unplanned bundle of joy throws her and boyfriend Stan's entire lives completely out of whack. It can't be that bad. It is that bad. Oh no. Oh no. Are you sure? The film was revolutionary for its time, tackling the topics of adoption, abortion, and postpartum depression from a teenage perspective. We've decided to keep the baby. You lied. No, I didn't lie. When I came home from the clinic, you asked me how it went, and I said that it wasn't so bad. But you didn't do anything. Oh, yeah, that's why it wasn't so bad. And while the film performed well at the box office, and many praised Ringwald's performance, critics were quick to point out some of Four Keeps' other flaws, causing it to receive a less than enthusiastic 18% on Rotten Tomatoes. But don't let that scare you off. The topics discussed in Four Keeps are still relevant today, and you can never have enough Molly Ringwald in your life. She doesn't even want to hold the baby. <laughs> the doctor says it's just a phase. Her age, all the changes. Hey, don't worry. The natural tendency of the mother will kick in. I mean, it's a genetic animal instinct. <laughs> what? You mean like wild kingdom? Number 8. The Pregnancy Pact In 2008, a truly unbelievable story hit newsstands all across America. 18 girls from Gloucester High School in Massachusetts all got pregnant at the same time. Why would girls so young want to have a baby in the first place? And should the school system, the media, or society shoulder any of the responsibility for what happened? Hardly a fluke, the girls planned the entire thing, going so far as to form a pact, though some have since denied it. Well, as soon as the powers that be at the Lifetime Network heard the story, they started working on a film version. Oh my god. I have a tiny baby inside of me. <laughs> I know. I hope we all have girls. Oh my god, that would be so cool. The result was The Pregnancy Pact, starring Thora Birch as a blogger who returns to her alma mater to uncover why so many teenagers are getting pregnant. Teen birth rates are up for the first time in 15 years all over the country. I'm going to Gloucester to see if I can figure out what's going on. The film and the events it's based on even spawned a French version called 17 Girls. Number 7. Where the Heart Is Ooh, What the hell? Walmart. I can go to the bathroom. 
as most teen pregnancy movies tend to collapse under the dramatic weight of the subject matter, Where the Heart Is leans into the levity of the situation and the result is a film that's funny and uplifting. Of course, everybody wants to talk to the mother of the Walmart baby. Am I in trouble? They're gonna arrest me. What for? For living in the Walmart. Featuring an all-star cast in Natalie Portman, Ashley Judd, Joan Cusack, and Sally Field, the film tells the story of Nova Lee Nation, a pregnant 17-year-old who's abandoned by her boyfriend at a Walmart in Oklahoma. Hooked yet? Nova Lee decides to double down, moving into the Walmart and eventually giving birth there. While reviews for the film were less than stellar, it performed well at the box office and remains one of the few positive flicks in the teen pregnancy genre. Hey, there she is! That's the Walmart mommy! Now how long were you living in the Walmart? Number 6. 15 and Pregnant This made-for-television movie stars a young Kirsten Dunst as Tina Spangler, a 15-year-old girl who, you guessed it, gets pregnant. You could give the baby up for adoption. Why didn't you? I'm not really sure. I wish I had never slept with Ray. The film does a great job of showing how an unplanned pregnancy affects an entire family, with Tina's mother, father, and sister all given ample screen time in order to explore their varied points of view. I don't want to live in the middle of this mess. That is not the way sisters behave in nice families. Nice families don't have pregnant 15-year-olds. Despite having already appeared in a number of high-profile films, including Interview with the Vampire and Jumanji, Dunst doesn't phone it in. Instead, she delivers a moving performance as Tina that is guaranteed to resonate with modern audiences. How did this happen? How could you get kissed and me not even know it? I didn't do it to hurt you. Number 5. Just Another Girl on the IRT I can't go through nine months carrying my baby, going through a labor, and then giving it up for adoption? Huh. I can't do that. One of the genre's most overlooked films, Just Another Girl on the IRT featured a breakout performance from star Arion A. Johnson, whose portrayal of the confident and ambitious Chantel Mitchell should have made her one of Hollywood's hottest up-and-comers. I'm a Brooklyn girl. Lots of folks think Brooklyn girls are real tough. <laughs> I guess that's true. I let nobody mess with me, and I do what I want <laughs> when I want. The film deals with a number of pivotal issues, including race, gender, the AIDS epidemic, and of course, teenage pregnancy. I mean, African American males die every day from drugs, violence, and AIDS. African American babies die twice as much as white babies. Right here in this country, what's our obligation to that? Made on a shoestring budget, Just Another Girl on the IRT nevertheless picked up a solid 84% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, with one critic calling it, quote, explosively funny, deeply moving. Number 4. Unexpected I'm gonna lose my job. John, I'm gonna lose my stupid job, and now I'm pregnant. Hey, hey. Come on. Come here. Just not how I thought it would happen. One of the most charming films on our list, Unexpected is about a teacher at an inner city school who becomes pregnant at the same time as one of her students. Are you pregnant? You're pregnant. How did this happen? You the science teacher? Come on, Jasmine. Miss Abbott, you know me since freshman year. You know this isn't something I planned on. Through their shared experience, the two women form an unlikely bond, learning more about each other and themselves with each passing day of their pregnancies. Are you doing this with your teacher? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a little weird. Starring How I Met Your Mother's Colby Smulders, who was actually pregnant during filming, and featuring a strong performance from newcomer Gail Bean, Unexpected is guaranteed to put a smile on your face thanks to its unique premise, excellent acting, and a careful handling of the sensitive topic of teenage pregnancy. Hey, maybe we could go do um, yoga and get some milkshakes sometime soon. I think that place has baby yoga. Maybe after the baby comes, we could go. Um, how about we just do milkshakes? Number 3. Saved a satirical cult classic from the mid-2000s, Save takes a biting and hilarious look at teenage pregnancy from the perspective of students attending a Christian high school. Jesus, he loves you. You don't know 
First thing about love. I am filled with Christ's love. God, you are just jealous of my success in the Lord. Featuring an eclectic cast that includes Jenna Malone, Macaulay Culkin, Mandy Moore, Mary Louise Parker, and Patrick Fugit, the film is about a teen who becomes pregnant after sleeping with her boyfriend in order to cure him of his homosexuality. Prayer circle meeting at my house at 7 o'clock. I'm conducting it for Mary's gay boyfriend, Dean. While the absurdist comedy has been compared to both Mean Girls and Election, Saved is surprisingly heartwarming, balancing its laugh-out-loud moments with poignant scenes that any pregnant teenager could easily relate to. Patrick, uh... Mary... It really doesn't matter to me. Are you sure? Number two, Precious. That's in welfare checks. I just couldn't lie no more. I shouldn't have said none of that. Mama gonna kill me. While some pregnancy films use levity to counteract the heavy subject matter, Precious veers wholeheartedly in the opposite direction. The film is about a 16-year-old girl named Precious, who already has a mentally challenged daughter and then discovers she's once again pregnant. In place of a loving and supportive family is a mother who is verbally and physically abusive and a sexually abusive father who is responsible for both pregnancies. According to Precious Files, she has now had two children by your boyfriend, the late Carl Kenwood Jones, who is also her father. Mm -hmm. The film is filled with incredible performances, including Monique's Oscar-winning turn as Precious's truly horrible mother, Mary Lee. Because she let my man have her, and she didn't say nothing, she didn't scream, she didn't do nothing. So those things that she told you did to her, who, who, who else was going to love me? Despite its bleak subject matter, the film is incredibly uplifting, as Precious fights to overcome her dire situation through perseverance and hard work. I'm gonna read to this baby, too, and hang colors on its wall. Listen, baby. Mother not dumb. Mother love you. Okay. Listen. No matter if these movies are funny or heartrending, the important part is a strong protagonist at its center. Here are some honorable mentions before the number one film, who has one hell of a leading lady and infinitely quotable lines. Thundercats are go. I saw a cat do it once. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Nine kittens in ten and a half minutes. See, it can't be that hard compared to all the other stuff we do. And she had mange. Yeah, at least I got that going for me. No mange. I would have liked to be your father, but I'm just not ready. I guess I'm hoping that you may someday understand and forgive me. Who am I? She's my first mother. And what is so special about Jason? She helped me find my family. Maria, ¿quiere que nos casemos? Esto me está jodiendo, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Juan, ¿en dónde viviríamos? Pues donde más en mi casa. Ay, Juan, por Dios, en su casa viven 10 personas. I'm going home, John. Okay. Then I'm leaving Adam with you. Number one, Juno. This laugh out loud feature flips the teenage pregnancy genre on its head with a plethora of witty dialogue, zany scenarios, and totally unique characters. Little pink plus sign is so unholy. That ain't no etch a sketch. This is one doodle that can't be undid, home skillet. Leading the way is our titular hero, Juno, who's different from the other protagonists on our list in every conceivable way. I don't want to give the baby to a family that describes themselves as wholesome. Why? Well, I don't know, I just want something a little more edgier. Bringing the Oscar-winning words of Diablo Cody to life is director Jason Reitman, who gets the most out of his A-list cast from opening credits to final line. How much? It ended with a chair. Juno was hailed by critics as one of the best films of 2007, earning it a 94% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, as well as four Academy Award nominations. Roger Ebert called it the best movie of the year, 
and honestly, cinematic praise doesn't get much higher than that. Third test today, Mama Bear. Your ego is prego, no doubt about it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.